There's an ongoing debate in the Wisconsin Capitol over Justice Janet Protosiewicz. Should the state legislature impeach the newest member of the state Supreme Court? Republicans argue she needs to recuse herself over a court case dealing with the state's legislative districts, which she called rigged during this past April's campaign. When Democrats have been launching a full court press to pressure Republicans into not voting for impeachment, that includes a series of ads on the issue. Political reporter Will Keneally has this reality check. You may have seen these ads recently urging voters to contact their legislators against the issue of impeachment. It's being run by a liberal group, A Better Wisconsin Together. An unprecedented threat. Expecting being nullifying the will of the voter. One that would overrule the votes of over one million Wisconsinites. Let's add some context to that. A little more than a million Wisconsin voters cast their ballot this April for that liberal Supreme Court justice. That's true. But what happens if the justice is impeached? Now, if Republicans successfully remove her sometime next year, the state's Democratic governor can't just replace her. But if Republicans remove her before December 1st, that triggers a special election, meaning that voters will have to cast their ballots again next April for a seat on the high court. Next April is also the presidential primary election in Wisconsin, which could see higher Republican turnout. A threat made by extremist Republicans desperate to overturn a fair and democratic election by illegally impeaching Justice Janet Protasiewicz. The other question is whether impeachment here is quote unquote illegal. Now we'll say that that's partially false, but does need some clarification. The standard for impeaching a judge in the Wisconsin Constitution is if they commit corrupt conduct in office. Now that can mean using your elected office for personal gain, but the idea is generally open-ended. Legal scholars can disagree on what corrupt conduct actually means. There's nothing that prohibits Republicans from going that route. But there's another option, something called address. That allows the legislature to remove a judge for general misconduct in office or to remove a judge who is medically unfit for office. Now, why would the legislature opt for impeachment instead of address? Address requires a two-thirds vote of both chambers to pass, which Republicans don't have. Impeachment, on the other hand, needs just a 50-vote majority in the assembly, which Republicans do have. These ads are part of ongoing pressure by Democrats to persuade Republicans against impeachment. And we'll bring you more from Monroe, Wisconsin tonight as Democrats hit a door-knocking campaign talking to voters. I'm Will Keneally with this Reality Check.